Well, I'm here in the garden and it's starting to rain a little bit. We've had a pretty rainy season here in Nebraska, and that could lead to some health problems in our tomatoes and other plants because diseases love wet weather. We've been growing tomatoes from seed to plate here throughout the season on Backyard Farmer, and today we're going to talk about some things that we can help reduce the likelihood of diseases with Integrated Pest Management, or IPM. There are things that you can do to help reduce the diseases in your garden throughout the entire garden season. One of the biggest causes of diseases in tomatoes is wind splashed rain that's splashing the soil up on the plant and all of the diseases that could be in that soil. So the best thing to do is actually to mulch those tomatoes. So using something like these grass clippings here or straw or shredded newspaper can help keep that soil from splashing up on the tomatoes. When you're watering, you want to avoid getting water on the tomatoes as well. So if you're watering by hand with a hose, don't spray them, especially in the evening because it doesn't have time to dry and using something like drip irrigation would be great to avoid that as well if you can put that in there. Also one of the things about mulch is you want to get a good enough spread to avoid weeds. Weeds will be a good vector for a lot of diseases so you want to avoid stuff like this. You want to make sure you keep all those pulled well back from your tomatoes especially if you have them well mulched like this. So one of the most important things you can do for tomato health is have appropriate spacing to have airflow so the diseases don't land and germinate on the plants. For your bush type tomatoes, the determinants, you need a little bit more space, about two feet at a minimum. For the indeterminate tomatoes, the ones that are more vining and you grow upward, you can be a little bit closer on those. But speaking of which, you want to keep those tomatoes off of the ground. So using something like a cage or a stake will keep them up off of the soil where we can get some of those diseases. One other thing that you want to think about for airflow is the plant itself. Sometimes they get a little bit too bushy throughout the season. A lot of them grow what are called suckers, which are extra gross that come on the stems or between the stems, and you want to be able to prune that out. So you have to take a look at the plant and prune out. You can pinch out that extra growth to have better airflow in your tomato plants. Today we talked about trying to avoid some of the problems in our tomatoes by practicing integrated pest management. So we started out by picking the correct cultivars that are disease resistant, but then we talked about things we can do in the garden to help reduce diseases. We talked about mulching and watering. We talked about using the appropriate spacing in our plants to make sure they're not too close. We talked about using cages or stakes to keep them up off the ground, and we talked about pruning out those suckers to keep them healthy. Next time, what we're going to talk about is managing those diseases if we get them.